Hey guys, Jago Fun 123 back again with yet another video today from my Smoke and Mirrors decks that I got. Um, I reviewed the Smoke deck, if you can tell that the cell is off. Um, and today, or not today, since all of these are being done today, right now I will be doing the Mirror deck. So set those aside. So let's review the Mirror deck. Alright, so just like all the other Dan and Dave decks, it's the standard look, standard front, says playing cards, D&D &D logo in the front for the D&D, &D, you know. It is black with embossed silver on the front, like all of these are embossed, but this is silver, which is cool. On one side, Dan and Dave, um, illustrated by Sky, Sky Scott. On the other side, distributed by the D&D &D playing card company, sorry for the glare. On the bottom, D&D &D logo, danandave.com, distributing stuff. On the top it says mirror and spoken mirrors, and on the back it has the D&D &D in the middle embossed, and then the rest is just the back design, and then it has the D&D &D on the flap. Um, it looks really nice with the silver and black, it's a nice contrast, but yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so now you can really see without that solo how shiny it is. Um, when you open it up, ooh, it's nice. When you open it up, wow. Um, the flap is silver. And when you take down the flaps, you can see straight away that the inside is silver of the box. And then the little circles on the flaps are silver. Go away. Um, but yeah, so the middle is silver and now onto the deck so as you can see the whole box is silver which is really cool I've said that like five times so I should just shut up now once again this deck is set up the same way as with my smoke if you didn't see it as with my smoke deck review if you didn't see it um, how they have the jokers on the front like this and the logo cards on the back Alright, but, so, extra cards you get are, of course, the Jokers, which I'll get to in a sec, and just their ad cards, they have two of them, you know, just the D&D, &D, nothing special. Um, on the back, they have the back design, the back design is the D&D, &D. that's my way, is the D&D &D back design, you know, standard, but it looks really nice how they could get the shading with those parts with the white against the black and it is solid black with white fronts so it will chip um but yeah so there are those um and if you couldn't tell they are off-white again which i'm curious to see if all of them are like that but they are off-white now for the jokers just like with the smoke deck they're the black standard D, &D joker with no j in the corners or anything but yeah just the reflected guy with the cane you know D, D stuff standard and now for the rest of the deck the deck has the same interesting feel as with the smoke deck how the finish feels kind of weird but then it handles really really well how it doesn't feel like an air cushion but it doesn't feel like like say the v6 that i have or whatever but um yeah so it does have an interesting feel. Like, when you take it out of the box, you will kind of doubt it. I kind of doubted it when I first took out the smoke deck. But, so the Ace of Spades is it the same black Ace of Spades. The standard D&D &D Smoke and Mirrors Ace of Spades is with the smoke deck. Um, they have the standard pips. The Dan and Dave playing card company in the bottom. So that's it. Um, go through the rest of the cards, you know, all standard pips. The court cards are standard, save for the lack of blue. Oh, come on. Uh, awkward angles. Like, okay. I'm bad at angles. But yeah, they're standard. They just lack the blue. They're the exact same cards as the smoke deck, just different back. 
Alright, go through the red cards, you know, same deal, slightly different color of red, court cards are the same, and all the way through. Onto the handling. Well, I really shortened up this video compared to the smoke. Onto the handling, it dribbles very well. Um, it dribbles really, really well. It springs really, really nicely. It feels like the stock is just slightly stiffer than the smoke deck, but that just could be from the ink, the extra ink on this one since it's black. So that might be different, but um, yeah, so it springs and um, dribbles well. It fans like a D&D deck. It looks really nice when you get that outline, if you get enough of it, because it's the white on black. It just gives it a good look rather than black on white. But so it fans really nicely. You know, it's a D&D deck. What do you expect? Um, but yeah, overall it feels really nice when you spread. I'm just going to try and leave it there. I don't really want to try and lift it up. You can see a nice and even spread. Really nice. Come on, there, bud. Come on. Good enough. But yeah, so the D and D mirror deck is a winner, just like the smoke deck. I will still give it the same ratings, the of um, nine out of ten, because of once again the lack of colored court cards, um, or of differently colored court cards, and just there's nothing really particularly special about it. I might bump it up to a nine point five because of the foil that gives it a really really nice look and just the um, just the really nice look of the silver with it, the effect of it it looks really really nice but yeah so there's the mirror deck from Dan and Dave um, I would give it like I said a nine maybe nine and a half out of ten I'm never gonna really rate any Dan and Dave decks under like an eight I would say, you know, with Dan and Dave quality, it's there. But yeah, that is it for the mirror deck. Um, I will be back with the V4, the eco deck.